Hello friends, welcome to this video. Now in the previous two videos, you have seen that what is the index function and then what is the match function. So we saw separately both these functions. So if you have not seen the video, then please watch out this video. I'm putting the link on the top of this video. Now in this video, I'll be showing you the combination of this index and match function. And that combination is a great combination. As we have seen in one of the video where we talked about the VLOOKUP function. So VLOOKUP functions are having some limitation. So whatever the limitations of VLOOKUP are there, that is now solved with the help of this combination of index and match function. So let us see that how we can use this index plus match function together. We will go to our sheet that is known as VLOOKUP function sheet because here we have already seen what is the VLOOKUP. So here I'm having the employee ID. Their first name are already written here. Now I have to write down the last name. I have to get the last name from which table? From the this particular sheet that is known as master employee list sheet. So in this sheet, I'm having the full data. Now I want to get here the last name. VLOOKUP is having one of the major drawbacks that means both VLOOKUP and Edge LOOKUP, they are having the major drawback that they can see the data on the right hand side or in case of Edge LOOKUP, they can see the data from top to bottom and in VLOOKUP, we can see the data from left to right. So that is the major thing that we have to see in both VLOOKUP and the Edge LOOKUP. To remove this error or to remove this uh, drawback of VLOOKUP, we can now use here the combination of index and match function. So let me show you that if you want to get the last name of this employee ID 1054, then how we can use the combination of index and match function. So what is the index function? Index function will give you the value at a particular position. So we have to give some row number and column number. And then we say to Excel that, okay, please go to this row number and column number. And whatever the combination of this row number and column number is there, whatever the value is there in that particular cell, you please give me that value from that cell. So this is the index function. In the match function, we say that, okay, this is the text or this is the number. Please go to the main table and then you tell me the position of this particular text or this number in that particular column. So we have seen both these things in a separate video. So please watch out those videos. Now here we'll be using the combination. So I'll type here first of all equal to index. I'll start with the index function. Now we will not use like this. I've already shown you this FX button. So I will click on the FX button. So after clicking on the FX button, we get this particular dialog box. So mostly we'll go for the array, not the reference. I'll go for the array. I click on OK button. And now here we are having this dialog box for the index function. Now in this dialog box, I have to first of all write down the array. What I have to do that I have to now select the column from where I want to have the last name because I want to get here the last name in this particular cell that is known as D32 for this employee ID 1054. So in the array, I'll be going to this master employee list sheet and the master employee list sheet, what I'll do that I will select this last name column. Okay, so I select this last name column. So it, here it is written B colon B. So this is the array. And now here I have to write down the row number. Now see row number I'll be getting from the match function. I have to use here the match function from where I'll be getting the row number and then the combination of the row number and this particular column will give me the last name for that employee ID 1054. So here in the row number, I'll be typing now match function bracket. Now match function is having what argument? So match function, what it will do that first of all, it will take this particular lookup value in the row number. I have typed here already match function bracket. Then I will be selecting this particular cell that is B32 comma. Then I have to select the array in the match function. I have to select the array or you can say the lookup array. So then I have to search where this number 1054. I have to go to the master employee list sheet and the master employee list sheet. I have to select this first column because in the first column employee ID, I'm having the all the employee ID. So here I have to search that 1054. So this is that column here. That is the lookup column. I put comma. And now I have to mention here that whether I want to have the approximate match or whether I want to have the exact match. So here we'll be going for the exact match. So I'll put here zero, zero for exact match. And then I complete the bracket. See, as soon as I complete the bracket here, I'm getting the answer Smith. So this is how we are getting the row number. Now see column number, it is not compulsory. I can keep it blank here. So in the array, I have selected what? I have selected this column 
that is the last name column because i want to have the last name for this employee id 1054 so whatever you want to have in the return that you put in the array here so master employee list sheet b colon b and then in the row number i have to write down the match function so in the match function i have to start with this particular cell that is i have to go to this vlooker function sheet in the vlooker function sheet i have to select here this uh, cell known as b32 comma and then i have to go to the master employee list sheet and then i have to select what i have to select the this particular column that is the employee id column where i'll be finding that employee id 1054 so with the help of this match function what it will do that with this match function will be getting the position you see that it is written here too so for 1054 what is the position of 1054 in this first column here it is number two yeah from the top area you have to count so this is giving me the number two position and then i'm already having this column that is the last name column so the combination of that column and that row number two it will give me this answer smith so this is the column last name and then the row number is here too so at the second position in the last name column we are having the word smith so that is what we are seeing over here so this is how we get the smith answer i click on ok button and now here we are getting the answer smith now here you see the advantage of this combination of index and match function suppose if i shift the position of this employee id column now suppose if i cut this employee id and if i paste it over here so see now i have shifted the position of this employee id column now if i go to the vlookup function sheet you see here that my first name column it is now showing me na 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 why it is showing me here na 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 because here i have used the vlookup so that is the drawback of vlookup but here you see that this last name smith is still there so whenever you use the combination of index and match function the answer will be remaining same even if you shift the position of the first column suppose here if i shift the position of this last name column i select this last name right click cut i paste it somewhere over here so here now i'm having the last name the employee id is at the second position last name at the fifth position and when i go to the vlookup function sheet you see the answer is still smith so this is the advantage or one of the major advantage that you get in the this combination of index and match function okay so please use this index and match function in the next video i'll be talking about another great function which is known as x lookup once you will learn this x lookup then i'm very sure that you will forget also this combination of index and match function because that x lookup is much more simpler to understand index and match function they are great functions but when you go for the combination of these two functions then sometimes it is difficult to understand that combination that what should i write but once you will learn that x lookup in the next video then i'm very sure that you'll be only using the text lookup so see you in the next video thank you very much